Hi guys and welcome back to another tour video on St. Vincent. So today we're going to be looking at something a bit different, an airsoft arena. Uh, which, I don't know anything about airsoft, but girlfriend likes airsoft, so uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting anyway. It's going to be interesting. Now, this one doesn't actually have the sign there, but I've asked Quitston, he said it was uh, Ranger of Verulin. Verulin? Verulin, I think it is Verulin, or, or I, can't, I don't know how to say the name because I haven't got it written in front of me. But um, that's the one that he said it was, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty unique. This, of course, is quite bare and quite empty, but there is, like, this cool area here. Uh, it is used in LD Modern as well, so we're on St. Vincent again, just wandering around. Uh, so, you know, we've got typical kind of computery stuff here. Uh, over here, we have, like, this really open... Not really open. Uh, like, like a cafeteria area type thing in this, which is strange. Is this where people talk? I'm guessing this is like a... Yeah, this is where people actually talk. So maybe like people are all you know hanging out here. This like actually looks like a stage, doesn't it? This looks like some sort of stage. So it's got like speakers and things. That's actually quite cool. I do. I think that's quite cool. So people would be like standing here for some reason. No idea why. <laughs> this, is, this is when what happens when you have no idea. Uh, but then we got a couple of seats. We have got the trenches down that way. Uh, what have we got over here? Like artillery pieces. So that's quite interesting. Like artillery pieces as well as you know the trenches and things. So you know you could be fighting, running around. You know with guns shooting each other. Actually, I can do that. I can run around with a gun, at least. Yeah. Yeah, this will make me feel better. Yeah, there we go. So you can run around, you know, shooting people and stuff, so that's kind of cool. Uh, at least that kind of works. Uh, this is a like, bunker. So that is pretty cool. Uh, you've got, obviously, the camo as well. A uh, nice little bunker there with a couple of guns. You've got everything else here, and you've got another, another set here, so, you know, you'd be able to run underneath... I think one of these, there we go, through these trenches. And I think there's even there's even stuff down here as well, so it's pretty... Oh, it's actually got water as well. Wow. That goes on quite far. So, there's quite a lot of little bits of detail in. It's something I, like I said, I haven't seen. Never seen anything like this, so... Really cool, different, and... Like, all these different rooms. Again, like, another little bunker place. Just different. <laughs> and using, of course, the cobweb as, like... Barbed wire. Of course it is barbed wire in my texture pack, but that also just adds to it. So through here we then have like a couple of gates, so it's like a little town area. Uh, and over this side, we've got like this... Kind of looks um, quite Arabic, like an Arabic-ish building. So we've got one of those, and we've got some oil. Okay, we've got like an oil field, fair enough. So this is like the Arabic side of it. Uh, we've got like a... I'm guessing this is like a mosque then. This is possibly a mosque, which is quite cool. Quite nice to have. Now what block is that? Oh, it's chests. Like more ammo or something. I don't know. Maybe. No idea. Um, that's really, really cool. We've got another area out here. Just got these weird lines on, which I have no idea. As well as another building out here. Nice tree, actually. That's actually quite a cool tree. Uh, grown down onto these. And what type of building have we got in here? So this could be used for attacking or something. There we go. Just a different type of building. A couple of these like back rooms, and that goes out to this little area here. Well, that's quite cool. So you can't get to the top or anything, but you don't really need to. So, interesting little area there. We've got a couple more houses as well over on this side. It's like more of a, a street type thing, so it's like urban urban combat <laughs> type thing. Um, bathroom? Is that how it works? No? You, you don't just sit down and... No? Okay. Just me? Alright. Uh, but there you go, you've got like a like, house or something. Uh, this would actually be a really cool place to shoot people from, wouldn't it? That'd work really nicely. Yeah, I like that, but that's cool. So we've got that. Uh, what else do we have? A couple more houses. So like typical, like normal type stuff, but it's just interesting. I just found it really interesting. You've got a tower as well. Okay, you've got a tower that you can go all the way up to here. I don't know, <laughs> it just as some, some sort of idea, like modern-wise. This is something that... You would actually have, but what I would never think about. So there we go, we've got like a little fort here. So, I don't know, it's just cool. It's just cool. It's just cool in a really weird way. It's a really quick one just to give you guys like an overview of this. Um, it's kind of a bit crazy. But um, simple, like, nice little design. And and like quite a few little ideas as well. Uh, but yeah, that was um, kind of like a little airsoft place. I also like this curve that's in the, in the road for the monorail. Okay, you've got the monorail, uh, the actual train itself going, but look at the curve in the road there, I think this is Quister's Road, 
looks like it from the curve, but it looks really cool. So um, that's pretty much it. Stupidly quick video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one.